Good morning, Captains. I'm Sarah Antonelli. And I'm Aaron Miller Tam. Today is October 24th, and we're coming to you live from Studio 503. If you are looking for a way to earn a free yearbook this year, the Kettering Yearbook staff has organized a cookie dough fundraiser that can go towards the purchase of your yearbook. If you are interested, there are order forms in the Academic Center, but they do need to be turned in next Monday, October 27th. If you have any questions, see Mr. Wilson in room 501. The Kettering Student Leadership will be hosting the annual Red Cross Blood Drive on November 3rd from 7.30 until 1.15 in the LGI. Make sure you sign up during all lunches. You must be 17, year old, 17 years old to participate. Come see the Kettering Marching Captains perform at the University of Michigan this Saturday at the Big House Invitational. There are 15 high school bands performing from 6 p.m. until 10 p.m. Kettering will be performing at 8.15 and admission is free. Our own WKHS TV news crew took an in-depth look into Kettering's new physical development class for children with disabilities. Let's see what Kettering classes has to offer. Me and Mr. Young, uh, we've teamed up and we put the class together. Um, so as we're going along, we're adding more stuff this year. We're going to get a little bit more technical. We're going to put, uh, we're going to have individualized workout programs. Um, because we have a number of students that have physical impairments. With uh, beeper balls, I was taking students that had visual impairments and allowing them to play soccer so they could actually hear the ball rolling across the field. And at first they really had a hard time kind of grasping where the sound was coming from and how to follow it and uh, developing that coordination. And by the end of the year, they were absolutely fantastic at it, scoring goals and everything. It was really awesome. Just the kids' excitement when they're able to achieve something. Um, for example, um, Kyle Chapin, who last year was his first year exposed to lifting, and now he pretty much goes on, he gets his machines, he knows where to set them in, he goes on his own. Um, we had a couple students last year, it was the first time getting in the pool. Um, some of them didn't know how to swim, so things like that, we start off with the basics and we build from there. Something that's always interested me. Uh, when I went through college, I took a lot of adaptive PE classes, um, and working with that you know, group of students, it's always something that you know, I've enjoyed. It's all encompassing. Actually, the um, the physical um, development that they've come through, starting at the beginning of the year to what they're able to develop through to the end of the year, we're really instead of like monitoring, like you know, can they meet this benchmark and everything? It's how much progress are they making through the actual year? And the students have been doing absolutely fantastic. Their um, their endurance, the flexibility, um, just basically just uh, overall, um, just their overall physical well-being is just greatly increased by the end of the year from what they're doing in this class. Just the support and the amount of acknowledgement, you know, the kids are getting and just the like attitudes of some of the kids. You know, they're more outgoing in the classroom. Like last year I had a couple football players that were that were eights for the class. And this year I handpicked a couple of kids that are also aides and just the interaction with the kids and walking the hall. And you'll notice with a couple of the blind students and visually impaired like Jesse and Austin where they're more confident walking down the hall. Um, they, weren't, they weren't used to having, you know, the, the spatial movement. For example, when we take them out on the football field, they can just basically go wherever they want. Julie Uniton, and I'm a teacher consultant for the Visually Impaired and Orientation Mobility Specialist from Oakland Schools, and I provide services to uh, one of, uh, to all of the districts in Oakland County. So I actually, like, pushed for this class because Typically, uh, visually impaired and blind students, unless they're really pushed by their families, they don't have a lot of experience or a lot of exposure to um, activities, especially like physical education. And if they do, they only have it like at school and then they don't really gain um, a passion or an interest for it. So I've seen a huge difference. Um, just in their confidence. Uh, Austin actually went to sports camp for the visually impaired. He's never been away. He traveled to Western Michigan, lived um, on the campus. That all came from his exposure to that class. Hi, I'm Ginger Messenger, um, working Messenger's mom. He talks a lot about this class actually. There's different aspects of this class that so there's so many different areas that they touch base on. Obviously with the actual health and fitness aspect of it, you know, going in and, um, you know, do, using certain things, the equipment or whatever, um, but he also goes in and will play games with other people. That's things routine could never do before. I'm Mr. Frankoviak, Principal of Waterford Kettering High School. This is actually our second year. It was conceptualized about two summers ago, 
and we knew that we had to better service our students here at Kettering. We saw a need and I was very fortunate to be the principal here and have two teachers such as Mr. Young and Mr. Hanna kind of run with it. Pitched the idea to them and we sat down and we looked at curriculum, we looked at what we would need and uh, they took the ball and they ran with it. Well, it's one of those things that like any program here, we strive for continuous improvement. And so we consistently look uh, at what we have and what the needs are with the students. In that particular class, the makeup of the students changes. You know, the, 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 the coolest thing is it's, it's new experiences that students may never have experienced before. You could be a student with a visual impairment and never have played basketball. You are in this class. You could be a student who has some type of physical mobility challenge and you are playing soccer and you're running our field out there with a lot of other students. You could be a student who socially, you struggle making new connections. We have a lot of general education students and athletes that give up an elective credit to be mentors in there. They're able to make new connections and connect to Kettering in a different way. I mean, there are so many things I can talk about. Those are just a few of the highlights. You know, one of the special things about Kettering is, and you'll never see this on test scores, you'll never see this on um, ratings that you know we might have from the state of Michigan, is how special our students are. We have a very service-oriented student body. And so when you look at the mentors in that class, you know, it's a very symbiotic relationship. It is just as valuable for the students who are in the class as it is for the mentors because that, that act of service, that act of giving back, that act of helping their fellow student um, become excited, be, to become successful, to become engaged, is a very, very um, sense of fulfillment that it's very unique to that, that opportunity. If there are any students wanting to join the class as a student mentor, please see Mr. Hanna in room 101 or meet with your counselor immediately. We'll now kick it over to Mike for sports. Thanks, Aaron. The captains played an amazing game yesterday against Lakeland winning with a score of 39 to 15. Seniors Austin Wood and Donata Smith combined for a total of six touchdowns and 250 yards. Also, any girls interested in playing indoor soccer at Oakland Yard, please email KetteringGirlsSoccer at gmail.com. That's all for sports. Now back to the news. Thanks, Mike. Well, that's all we have for you today, Captains. Once again, I'm Sarah Antonelli. And I'm Aaron Miller-Jim. Have a great rest of your day.